The history of Kazakh native land is rich. Ancient cities, great men, events and archaic architectural monuments provide evidence for this. Comprehensive history of Kazakh steppe is an object of interest for native land program. In today's native land program, Highland Almaty region, Alakol, healing air and water, Museum of the Outstanding Poet Shambil, Queen of Kazakh Dance Shara Jinkulova, and Kazakh Nightingale Uljan Ainakulova. Almaty region, administrative division in the southeast of the Republic of Kazakhstan. The territory of the region is 224,000 square kilometers. In the west, the region borders with the Jambil region. In the north, through Lake Balhash, with the Karaganda region. In the east, with China. And in the south, with Kyrgyzstan. These lands have long been inhabited by Sak tribes, Uysins, Kangju, and tribes of the senior Jews. Almaty region is rich with monuments of history, culture, archaeology, ethnography, and natural attractions. Most of the region's territory is occupied by the hills and hilly sands of Sariyasik Atarau, Daukum, Lokum, Karakum, and Korgankum. The eastern part of the region is completely covered with mountain ranges of the Jungar Alatau. Here is also the highest peak of Jungarian Alatau, Mount Bezbakan. The highest mountains of Kazakhstan are on the territory of Almaty region. The most visited famous are the trans Ili Alatau and the central Tianshan. trans Ili Alatau ridges in the north of the mountain system of the northern Tianshan. The mountains were so named by the Russian geographer and traveler Peter Simonov. When in 1958 he came to the Ili coast, he saw a chain of mountains, the tops of which are covered with snow, and he named them trans Ili Alatau. In the west, trans Ili Alatau borders on the Chu River. In the east, the Chilik River. At the sources of the Chilik and Kamen Rivers, the trans Ili Alatau approaches Kungay Alatau, forming the chilik Kamen mountain knot. The state border of Kazakhstan in the east goes from Kunge Alatau and passes through the Chili Kemin, stopping to the Trans Ili Alatau. The main part of the Trans Ili Alatau stretches for 180 kilometers from the Kastek Pass to the Amanjol Pass in the east. The height of the central part of the Trans Ili Alatau is more than 3,200 meters, and some mountains, for example, Talgar Peak reach a height of 4,978 meters. Around the Talgar Peak, there are several peaks with a height of more than 4,500 meters. This central part of the Trans Ili Alatau is called the Talgar Mountain Knot. The northern slope of the Trans Ili Alatau is covered with a thick layer of ice. The largest glaciers, Bogatyr, Dmitrieva, Constitution, Togizak, Kolesnik, and Shokalsky reach a length of 4 to 6 kilometers. A thick layer of ice was accumulated at the sources of the Chilik River and on the Chilik Kaminsky Bridge, which is to the east of the source of the river. On the southern slope of the Talgar Massif, there is the largest glacier of Trans Ili Alatau, 11 kilometers in length, called the Korzhenevsky Glacier. The only inland lake, Alakol, is the second largest inland water body in Kazakhstan. The lake is located on the border of Almaty and East Kazakhstan regions. The lake is situated at an altitude of 347 meters above sea level, covering an area of 2,700 square meters. The depth reaches 50 meters. The length of the reservoir is 102 kilometers. The width is about 54 kilometers. In the center of Alakol, there are such islands as Big and small Aral Tobe. The climate on the shore of the lake is very variable. The name Alakol in the translation from ancient Turkic and Mongol languages means Great Lake or Mountain Lake. In the morning it looks blue and towards evening before sunset it becomes bluish. 
The water in the Aleko lake is as salty as it is in the sea. The composition of the water is chlorate sodium and chlorate sulfate sodium. The level of fluorine and bromine is high in the water of the lake. In addition to the healing water in alcohol, hydrogen sulfate mud and dry air enriched with mineral salts of the steppe are useful for health. Water is especially useful for diseases of the skin, respiratory tract, supporting motor system. In the center of the lake, there is an archipelago of three islands, where in 1998 the Alaco State Nature Reserve was established. On the shore of the lake, there are about 300 species of birds, classified as endangered species and listed in the Red Book. Alakol is considered an important crossroads of migratory birds that fly from Central Asia to India and Africa for wintering. Alakol is rich in fish. There are white perch, osman, carp, pike perch and crucian carp. If you turn to historical facts, then near Alakol the path of caravans of the Great Silk Road ran. Travelers tired from a long journey stopped to rest on the shore of the lake. In the Almaty region, the Queen of Kazakh dance, Sharajin Kulova, was born. The people's artist of the Kazakh SSR, thanks to her talent, became a dancer at the age of 16. Her real name is Gulshara. Her father, by Molda, was known throughout the Jitisu area as a mullah. Sharajin Kulova started her career on the big stage at the Kazakh Drama Theater with her husband, Kurmanbek Zhandarbekov. The first theatrical role of Sharajin Kulova, the role of Polish in the play Maidan by Beimbet Mayalin. Then she played the main roles in the stage plays of Mukhtar Aoyazov, Yenlik Quebec, and Karagos. The Queen of Dance, laureate of the state prize of the Kazakh SSR, twice awarded the Order of the Red Banner of Labor, was also awarded the Order of the Badge of Honor and several medals. Sharajin Kulova is the author of the books Kazakh Dance, Sumbat, My Life is My Art, Secrets of Dance. Another person famous for the whole world and born in the city of Almaty is violinist Marat Sametuli Besengaliev. In 1969, he started to attend the violin class of music school named after Kulash by Sitova. In 1996, he gave a concert at the Barbican Hall in New York together with the English Camerock Orchestra. After this concert, Marat Besengaliev became known as an international star, violinist virtuoso. He is recognized by all known art critics of the world and is called the ambassador of the world of Kazakhstan. The famous violinist is also called the inventor of beautiful music and nomad, which paved the way between Europe and India. Marat Besengaliev, for the first time in the history of India, created a professional symphony orchestra. Marat Sametuli, honored artist of the Republic of Kazakhstan, professor of the Birmingham Conservatory, honorary citizen of the Kazakh people, who is engaged in creative activities in the UK and India. Famous performer of Kazakh folk songs, Oljan Aina Kulova, was born in 1958 in Almaty region, graduated from the music faculty of the Women's Pedagogical Institute. In 1978-1979, she acted as a member of the famous ensemble Aigul and toured the whole country. In 1981, Oljan Aina Kulova was admitted to the ensemble Kulansas in Jambil district her small homeland. The first singer who sang Kazakh folk songs to the accompaniment of flute and adirna. In her repertoire, there are more than 50 songs. Songs that we hear in the villages performed by grandparents are unknown in the cities. They are only in the village. I absorbed them into myself from my youth.
Still, when I am free, I come to the village and learn songs from the older generation of villagers. And these songs are included in my repertoire. Most of the songs from Uljan Ainakulova's repertoire are dedicated to the homeland and the people. If culture is the greatest spiritual wealth of the people, then Uljan Ainakulova has been faithfully serving in this sphere for about 30 years. Honored artist of the Republic of Kazakhstan, honorary citizen of Jambul district, worthy titles of singer who propagandizes folk songs. <laughs> Wherever there is an art man, he comes to his native land. In native lands, everything is dear. The land, the water, and the people. The fact that in the repertoire of singer Ujan Ainakulova, there is a song, My Mentor is Suyinbai, written on the verses of Jambul Jabayev has a deeper meaning. Since childhood, the singer recited by heart the poet's works. Jambul Jabayev, narrator, singer, Aitis Akin, witness of two centuries. The house where the poet spent the last years of his life is now a museum. There are more than 3,500 exhibits, which were used by Jambul Jabayev. This is the living room of Jambul Atta. Sabit Mukhanov, Mukhtar Awezov, Gabit Musrepov, heroes of the Soviet Union, Arjan Momushuli and Malik Gabdulin stayed in this room and sat around the Dastarhan. All the furniture that is in the room was during the life of the poet. In 1938, an academician, botanist killer, came to this house. He was not only a botanist, but also a collector. It turns out that he collected such tea sets. He presented this service to Jambul Atta. In 1942, a group from the Moscow theater came to Jambul Atta, including the famous ballet dancer Galina Ulanova and the filmmaker Sergei Eisenstein. They gave him these things, a samovar, a ladle, and a tray. It's a gift from those artists. The best works of Jambil Jabayev were translated into more than 40 languages of the world. Such famous writers as Romit Roland, Martin Anderson Nex, Katharina Susanna Pritchard admired his poetic talent. This is the office of Jambil Atta. Tair Jarokov, Gali Ormanov, Kapan Satibaldin were appointed by the literary secretaries of the poet when he was alive and worked in this office by turn. Atta sat down and played on his dombra. Next to him the literary secretary sat down and wrote down every word that the singer uttered. The poet also had translators. Until 1941 his works were translated by Pavel Kuznetsov. After Pavel Kuznetsov went to the front, Dmitry and Konstantin Altaiskiye translated the works of Jambul. It's a carpet. Amangildi Imanov is depicted on the carpet. The sketch was made by our artist Abilhan Kasteyev. In those years, this carpet was gifted to Jambul Atta by the Almaty Carpet Factory. There is also a desk, drawing tools, a radio. Jambul Atta could not read, but he liked to listen a lot. During the war on the radio, he listened to the news. The Jambul Museum is in the village where the great poet died. The village is located near the mountain Maitobe Jungarian Alatau. In the area of the museum, there are trees that were planted during the life of the poet. In the depths of this garden is the tombstone of the singer. Near the grave of Jambil Shabayev is the grave and gravestone monument of his younger brother, the outstanding composer and conductor Nurgisat Lendiev. Here, the Almaty region is a secret land. 
They were born people who made an invaluable contribution to the development of national art and culture and glorified the Kazakh people throughout the world. Almaty region is a beautiful region, attracting tourists from all over the world with its picturesque landscapes, healing water, and high mountain snow tops.